in the last video we did relatively well losing just one match against napoli to be honest i was really not expecting to beat them but then i also wasn't expecting a 4-1 sorry a 4-0 loss against them and in the last match of the episode we defeated al hilal 2-1 yet again claim the top spot in the league again now this episode is going to be just as tough as the last because we have to go up against athletic Bilbao, lille chelsea again in the carabao cup um the carabao cup really isn't important to me to be honest but i mean it's chelsea that we're going up against so i feel like i have to play it. so I'm, I'm not going to play the playable highlights for it i'm not going to like simulate it or anything after that game we have leon and then the last match will be against lazio al hilal and al nasser are just one point below me really fighting each other as they do in the saudi league they then PSV, Bilbao and Napoli are the rest of the teams that are in the playoff positions right now. Caleb Rivera has approximately two more months to return. To be honest, I'm feeling kind of odd about him because like Moses Akimian is his replacement, yeah? And he has done relatively okay. He has scored like two goals if I'm not wrong. I mean, it's not as much as Caleb would have scored, I think, if Caleb was there but Moses Akiman is probably going to get like ahead of um, Caleb in terms of overall by the time Caleb is back like in eight weeks from now and that is not a good thing because he's not going to have to start fighting for the to be in the first team again because I really would not want to play him because he's like lower rated and stuff and then as for El Fakir he has moved up a point as well as other players in the team like like I said Akimen, Gabi, Chung Won and that's just name a few so the first match is against Atletico Bilbao do we have what it takes to defeat them in this match I'm going with Danilo, Akimen and El Fakir as the front three Lakeshaw and Gabi as the left and right mids then Akimitu is starting in place of Chung Won for the first time and then Diego Leonardo is just by his side the standard starting back three as usual and then i'm giving ehara a chance to actually prove to me that he's just as good as the captain and what's his face alexis Curran. and what we have for you is live action from the championship and he's made headway oh that was a chance to give them an early advantage well they should be off to a flyer here and that was a poor effort he must hit the target please the high press was on and the chance is on now oh, from close range, not ideal. Argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Derek, they must finish here. Well, it had a chance, but off the crossbar. And a goal kick. Who can they pick out? Well, they failed to get it away properly. Oh, good work by the keeper. Oh, goodness me, he's crashed it against the woodwork. He has got to be creative in that wide position. Can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. And space here on the flank. Trying his luck, and saved by the keeper. Hat full of chances, but when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. No. And it is the equaliser, parity now, and who's to say what's going to happen next? Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And Good piece of defending. Shaping to shoot. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. So the corner played into the box. Is it going to end up being productive for them? He's in behind. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Got to be a championship game to savour. It's live on EA TV. It's Athletic Bilbao taking on Chelsea. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. Luis de Galareta. Williams. That's a good pass. A goal! That's two for him today! They simply can't stop him! No wonder he's celebrating! Oh, Garcia. Is it going to be? Superb save. Raul Garcia. 
and angling it back Herrera good use of advantage there and saved by the keeper now what can they produce on the flank chance to cross and that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned well Derek I thought it was a subpar performance from them just didn't look as sharp as normal and I don't think they deserved anything from the game they need to get a better performance in next time out we endured a very devastating loss taking the lead twice and ultimately losing 4-2 in the match. El Harar though had a very very shit match and that just like cements my um, my belief that Haran is just a way better keeper even though they're both like on the same overall that's 75. After the loss we dropped down to fourth place on the table. Athletic Bilbao is drawn on points with us now while Al Hilal and Al Nasser are still going neck and neck for this um, championship. Next up we have Lil and putting out the major starting 11 though with the exception of Robertson coming out in place of Gabi. I need that extra defensive mind at the back. To be honest though I absolutely have no idea if this is going to be a tough match or not because I really don't know how good Lil is in FT24. All I know is that we cannot repeat the performance from last match i just need to focus and i'm good so i'll see you guys after i'm done with the rest of the matches the reason why i'm not actually running commentary on the matches is because i need to like pay attention to my nose because like i said in the first video it's absolutely moving man that's why i have this smoke coming out it's like a humidifier and stuff so i need like i'm i'm going to be like really really focused on the match so i really don't know where my nose is going all right I really wouldn't know in time if my nose is about to start to do a madness so um so drop a like on the video if you're enjoying the series and also subscribe to my channel and let's get into it hello it's great to be with you and i don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather i'm your match commentator derek ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is stuart robson To give them the advantage and a goal now they have their opener and now they can celebrate well spot on with that challenge off the post and back in play constant threat and i'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half and showing the importance of wind and a fine cross well, he got his head on it, but not quite right. From the goal line, he got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. They're pulled ahead by two with 56 minutes Oh, played. hang on, Alex. Big chance here. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Scent of something positive. Real chance. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. David. This could be troublesome. Couldn't quite hang on. Oh, good vision. He might profit from here, you know. Couldn't grab hold of it. Superb chance. Well, from close range, not ideal. Flex the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. An alert piece of defending. Five minutes to go. And he might be through here. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. It's with his smiley. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Opportunity. Oh, yes. A goal. Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. André. Real chance. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. 
The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is. for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that's all football. Now the atmosphere has been building up all day long and we're almost ready for kickoff. He... The inside route looks promising and not cleared away properly. And players waiting in the centre. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. Able to deal with the threat. Making progress. How about the cross? Keeper getting the touch. Targets available, cross comes in. Was had the potential to go the distance, and it has, so a penalty shootout is next. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Well, the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper. Superbly done, how many players would try that? And slotted home right into the bottom corner. Excellent penalty. And he scores. And he steps up to take the shot. Clinical as always in front of goal. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. Job done from the spot. A Panenka penalty and a brilliant goal. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. Well, he's gone for finesse and it's really paid off. Almost intolerable pressure. Can he keep us cool? So lethal in front of goal. Oh no! The pressure was on and the interest in the tournament ends right here. Well, there it is. What a way to go out of this competition. He won't want to look at that again. Now it's over now. So love me or I'm standing alone Can't shake a feeling that lives in my heart This is it, a can't-miss game, and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago, and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage. What a prospect. Stay tuned. All the action coming up next. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Back is handed to Alex Lacazette. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. 
opportunity. Can they slot it home? And an effective clearance. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Bongala. Toliso. It's there for him. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Lacazette. Really determined play to hang on to it. It's there for him. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. But defending inside the box. Nice looking move, this. Can he get one back? Oh, not to be. Stopping a certain goal. Has a go. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. And a timely intervention. Keeping it out, their attacking opportunity. No good vision. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Released it nicely. Well, in position to make it a brace, but not to be. Takes the shot. Well, a corner kick it is. Let's see if they can put this to good use as they try to add to their advantage. Favouring the short one. Having to shoot. It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Cuts it back. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Lacazette here. Doing everything possible to keep possession. Genuine chance. Oh, what an incredible turn of events. From down and apparently out. It's all square again. Can you believe? He continues his run. Can't miss, surely. Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this for guts and courage? Can they see this out now? But quick thinking defensively. Able to skip past his man. This could level it. Oh, he couldn't finish at such an important juncture of the game as well. Long test and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Payback, yeah, you better take that. You could call me selfish, you critical, I could take the blame. Just like I could take a match and send it up in flame. Don't say I did. That's just karma mm, Better take that oh. All eyes on one man Well Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace Not just over the first few yards But over longer distances as well And that makes him so difficult to play against His defenders are unsure whether to get tight Or drop off a dynamic player Welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. Feeding it through. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. He must finish. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Intelligent threaded pass here. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. 
Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Plenty of forward momentum here. But... Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Play. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. And passing it well. Can he take advantage? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And over it comes. Well, I take my hat off to him because that was superb defending. Lazzari. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, more oh, Derek, this is a big moment here. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Anderson. It has to be. And a fine stop. Short corner favoured. Teammate available. And he's got and scored to level us again. And he has options available. From a long way out, and the attempt just wide. So unfortunate. Breaking at pace. Still pushing for a winner. Can he put them in front? And he's fired it against the post. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Oh, he's through here. And a goal. He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. And that is the end of the contest, and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, that's not what I expected. They're usually so hard to play against, but when your forwards stop closing the ball down and your midfield players get outplayed, then it's so much harder for the defence. And that's what's happened today. So we absolutely turned on the Jets in the second half of the Leo match, going from a one-goal advantage to a five-goal advantage. And the crazy thing is, um, we scored the last three goals in like the last five minutes. And you know, it's a I played like a five-minute match, so that is absolutely insane that we're able to do that. We fought tooth and nail against Chelsea, and we took them all the way to the penalties, but sadly we weren't able to win on penalties. Danilo is the one that actually was really, really unlucky. He hit the bar and well, it was 6-5 at the end of the match. The match against Leon, oh my god, I hated that match. It was almost a carbon copy of the, of the Bilbao match because we were like 3-1 up and they came back and they won the match 4-3. It was up, like it pissed me off so much that they were clapping. Like what the hell were they clapping for at the beginning of the fucking season? Last but definitely not the least, it was the match against Lazio. It was actually the toughest match that I played today, but my concentration was really high and we were just able to get a win. Thanks to our emerging star boy, Xavier Elfake, who was able to score a very sweet last minute goal to get us to win the match. So I'm hiring a couple more coaches to help the players in the team develop faster. We renewed John Ruddy's um, contract real quick, even though he's not going to be playing um six thousand pounds a week for a player that is going to be like some kind of a mentor to all of the other younger guys in the squad at the beginning of the episode El Fagin had just moved up to an 80 now he's already on an NC1 this guy is moving so quickly three weeks left for Caleb's injury so he could be back in action by the end of next episode I hope and after two really sad losses where the causes of it was just me losing focus the player losing the focus type shit we see ourselves in third right under our Hilal and Athletic Club the battle between um Al Hilal and Al Nasser has actually like um you know dissipated and now Al Hilal is like running away with everything. They're six points above the three teams on 24 points. So Villarreal, Inter Miami, and Stuttgart are the three teams currently in the relegation zone. 12 matches in out of 40 something. Um, I'm not sure how many matches are in the championship. I think it's 46 with 23 teams times two. Uh, so 46, yeah. In the Premier League, though, City is slowly beginning to run away with it. They are still dominating, even with the league being an absolute nightmare. 
Pep Guardiola is on crack to be honest and then Liverpool, Barcelona and Real Madrid are the rest of the top four and then we have Lisbon, Milan and Monaco at the bottom three. El Faker has scored 10 goals in total this season, 8 in the league and 2 in the Carabao Cup. Sadly we're out so there won't be any extra matches for him to like score more goals before the FA Cup in January. Danilo, Leonardo, Matteo Rivas and Moses Akimi complete the top 5 scorers in the team at the end of this video so yeah we're at the end of the video thank you guys for watching if you have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video peace um, i think my hand was out of frame there so peace